Valva care. The vulva is the area of the female sex organs that lies outside the vagina. These organs include the folds of sensitive tissue known as the labia. Labia means lips. These lips have mainly two parts. The outermost folds are called labia majora, those large soft lips. Then a second set of folds called the labia minora is enclosed within the labia majora. Those sometimes they may be elongated. They have glands that secrete a mucus uh, which lubricates the vagina. Then the vulva also contains a mounded area uh, which is the pubic bone and somewhere there there is a small round organ known as the clitoris. Then openings of the vagina and openings of the urethra. It is always good to carry out good care of the vagina to prevent infections. The vulva must be kept clean to prevent conditions like vulvitis which is the inflammation of the vulva and conditions like vaginitis plus cervicitis. Uh, this is because all the infections that go into the reproductive system of females usually start from the vulva which is the entry point for all bacteria, viruses, fungal infections and anything which may change the environment of the vagina I means somewhere we have the anus close to the vaginal opening therefore there are conditions which may lead to the movement of bacteria from the anal region to the vaginal opening that's why it is always good to take care of the vulva. Vulva care. In this way you can prevent the vulva from being red, swollen and irritated. The goal of vulva care is to keep the vulva dry and free from irritants. The area around the entrance of the vagina can also become irritated. Many women experience uncomfortable vaginal infections, vaginitis at one time or the other. Steps can therefore be taken to relieve and prevent vulva discomfort and vaginal infections. Vaginal infections occur when bacteria, fungus and other organisms grow uncontrolled and these include candidiasis, bacterial vaginosis, trichomoniasis. Some of these organisms already live in the vagina and are kept at health levels by co coexisting with other organisms. For example, candidiasis. When there is an overgrowth, of the candida albicans it causes candidiasis then infectious organisms can also be introduced into the vagina by improper hygiene and unsafe sex there are numerous tips for vulva care and these include use warm water to wash the vulva dry thoroughly with a clean towel the vagina usually cleanses itself naturally in the form of normal vaginal discharge avoid using douches unless prescribed by a physician. Do change these other materials which are used to wash the inside of the vagina. It is very bad because it changes the vaginal conditions are uh, disrupting the balance between the good and the bad bacteria. These products can upset the natural balance of organisms leading to infections. Wear on red, white, a hundred percent cottony underwear. Putting on white may not prevent infections but usually uh, it becomes very easy to notice changes in the vaginal area when you put on white underparts. Avoid wearing nylon, acetate or other man-made fibers. If you have delicate skin or if you are prone to vulva irritation, some of these materials may be allergens and may cause allergic reactions to the vulva. Avoid wearing thongs. You reduce. Then, it is also good to wash new under clothes before wearing. When you buy new under clothes, don't just put on. Make sure that you wash them with clean water. Use a mild soap for washing underwear. There are some soap uh, which when used can remain in the underwear which may lead to the irritation of the vulva. That's why it's not good to use detergents with enzymes like amylase, lipase, protease and the cellulase enzymes. I uh, use soft tissue, white only as I've told you. Then, use tampons instead of sanitary napkins to control menstrual bleeding. Do not use deodorant tampons. Do not leave tampons in for a long period. It may cause toxic shock syndrome. Don't scratch the vulva. Rinse under clothes carefully after washing. 
or you can also cut out double rinsing make sure that you wash after washing the underclothes with detergents then rinse in clean water double rinse to remove the detergent which may cause the irritation of the valve avoid using too much round detergent avoid wearing nylon pant hose and pant guidos are they trap heat and moisture providing an ideal breeding environment for organisms which cause valvitis avoid those feminine hygiene products which can irritate the valve sanitary pads feminine spray and deodorants scented oils bubble bath bath oils and powder for any more information subscribe to our channel health and medicine like hit the notification button we shall keep on updating you for more content share and for any more question and also management you may also get us on 0783 6867 35 thank you for watching the video